Double on 36 Well hello everyone, Turboron36 here and today we are behind the steering wheel of the Lexus LFA. 330 km per hour top speed and a very decent handling package as well. That that spin was was because of me, not the handling. But of course these specifications are not comparable to real life as it is an EA game. This time, as we go through the S-curves of the Suzuka circuit in the land of the rising sun, we notice that this car is a really, as I said before, it is a really good package between speed and handling, although it depends on how you upgrade it later on. But as we maximize the track limits on that occasion, on the apex as well right there, here we are trying to get the fastest time of this week in the most minimum upgrades we have so i have a like a brake upgrade and a drivetrain upgrade which is just one so at this stage it's pretty much basic how it came from slightly tuned and and we are now approaching the spoon curve in which we can get a nice slingshot across the straight this part of the track it is highly highly important for you to get a very nice exit otherwise your whole straight will be compromised and you can like gain so much time just by breaking a bit earlier and getting on the power early. These are some of the things that you can use to get the most out of the car and the most out of the track because this game doesn't really teach you how to use the track and to be honest if you turn on the assist it's just going to make you slower. As we approach the line we improve on our delta which was my practice runs wasn't a very fast one and this also isn't fast but this video was just for you to observe how to attack the corners and how to get a good time so as you exit out of this straight it is very easy to compromise this exit as the curb there is is kind of puts you off and since this is a road car it can't really you can't really attack curves like you would in a racing car so yes you have to make two so as you could see i didn't really go right along the curb there i just skimmed over it like kind of went on the middle of the track and if you try to go out on the curbs that will compromise your run to some minute effect but anyway if you enjoy this video and the tips there isn't really much to do um it's just practice and you'll kind of you need to learn how to get the hang of it not no one can really tell you how it all depends on your driving style and how you whether you use touch honestly if you use touch i don't even know why i'm even watching this video but if you want to support a small creator go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video and stay tuned for more stuff like this i'm probably doing horror games so if you're into that yep you've come at the right place subscribe now and have a good day. Bye-bye.